my name's Jim Benton. Uh, we have a couple of properties. Um, this property is just on the outskirts of Gleninus. It's only a small block, 350 acres. And our other property, which is 60 kilometres northwest of Gleninus, we breed cattle there and bring the young calves in here and prepare them for sale. We've had this property for 35 years and the country is uh, on the western side about 20 odd years. Glenray is a 9,000 acre block. A lot of it's got a fair bit of regrowth on it and there's a lot of unused country that's uh, non-productive. The idea is to make the property more sustainable and also produce healthier, better grown cattle and at the same time look after the country. We ascertained that we had country that was suitable. Um, as soon as I thought that was the case, I spoke to uh, LLS staff and came out and did the inspection and made sure to satisfy the criteria. We're doing thinning some native vegetation to improve the um, sustainability and the um, productivity of the property. We've got other parts of that 9,000 acre property we're actually planting timber on where there's not enough timber to provide shelter from the winds and shade for the cattle. But this particular part of the pottery we're doing the work on is very heavily timbered and has, uh, its production could be lifted. We did plant trees originally here, but the season was too tough and they, a lot of the planted ones died. But we also fenced off this uh, area here with existing trees so we get natural regeneration. It's great to see all of this re yeah. natural regeneration occurring. It, it's amazing how much you get from just keeping the stock out. Yeah, absolutely. Fencing. I've been working with Jim for a while now and this particular property, we've looked at a few different options and his best option was working with a part of the land management code which is part three of the code and the section three or division three which is for mosaic thinning. Some of the challenges that Jim had with his various properties, he's done a lot of environmental works on his properties but he wanted to just do a little bit more clearing that just didn't fit under the old act. In the past, we had a standard procedure. When it got dry, we'd go on the road with calves, put them along the paddock, and when it rained again, we came back. Hopefully, this sort of work will enable us to handle those dry times without having to go on the road or seek alternative feed sources. I think the uh, local land services staff in this area um, fully understood what, what I was wanting and understood how they could work within the codes to achieve that outcome. Using the land management code isn't really complicated. There's a lot more staff on now that can help and all the staff are only a phone call away and a lot of the advice I provide on farm is about keeping your vegetation healthy to provide those biodiversity services for your pastures. It's about looking after our cattle and doing a better job and looking after the country. We've got to maintain the health of the farm to make sure we maintain our financial health. This thinning and partial expansion will achieve that.